man. I want yeah. y'all to hear this cut right here. This is a bad joint right here. This is my dude right here. Yeah. Mr. Darnell Davis. We're yes. going to get to him right next, but just listen to this yeah. little cut right quick for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can get at your skate party. Y'all get your praise on. At the Corona Room. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling it, you know. This is one of them family reunion songs. Yeah. You get with it. Gives your old school feel. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Hey, Bishop Cousins, my cousin. Okay, I'm going to fade it down right quick. Yeah. Robert L. Dean, I, I, I am so excited about this next Man, interview. I this is too. one brother that when he when I called in, you know I always got a joke to get him ready for the day. Yeah. Uh, uh, he called in and he said, yes, this is Darnell Davis. I said, I said, so are you a artist or are you a promoter? I mean, and, and, the, and the, pause, the, pause in his, the pause in his voice was hilarious. The pause in his voice was like... I'm an artist. And, and, and what, I, what's that sound you made? <laughs> no, the other sound. Uh, right. And, 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 and I, I, he had that one, like, you know how, how you know, you still trying to be saved, yeah, you but be you like, want to say, you want to say, do you not know who Don't I am? Do you know who I am? <laughs> who I is? Introduce this young brother right quick. Well, this gentleman, um, he's known on the West Coast as well. But he's yeah. from back east, and um, he's a writer, producer, an arranger, an artist. What's up, Mr. Darnell Davis? What's up? What's up, you guys? How y'all doing? Man, we are blessed and excited to have you because guess what? Your music has been in rotation at our station for a while. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, that joint right there, you That's know. What's up. You know, we was trying to put at all the skate parties and uh -huh. you know, all you know, when we <laughs> when we trying to be cool and, and be safe, but yet still be relevant, man. Yes. We, we throw that song on, man, and, and it just get us right in the spirit. You know, I, I just want to first of all welcome you to the Wake Up Morning Show with yeah. Dr. L T and Robert L. Demon yes. Report. Brother, you was hilarious this morning when I asked you <laughs> uh, I asked you to identify yourself. I mean the preg you know how they say the pregnated pause. He, yeah. He, he he paused for a minute and it almost like I think he had to say a prayer, Father Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. He called me off guard. He was like he was like, Are you an artist or a promoter? I was thinking to myself, uh okay. <laughs> right. Well he always he always catches people off guard. <laughs> Well, 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 man, we we we've uh, been we've been gigging your music and loving your music for uh, since we even started our station. Our program director, she I always say that she knows when hits when the hits come out. Yes, sir. and she puts it in rotation. And yes. uh, one of the things I love about uh, your music is that it's like a, it has an evergreen sound. It, it seems like you can play this at any time of the season, right. and it's still gonna be evergreen. Yes, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what I try to do. I, I shoot for that. Anytime doing a project or a single is making sure that the uh, the music is timeless in, in it, and it can be relevant anywhere at any time. How you describe your music? Well, you know, I, I'm from Minneapolis, and I often tell people this all the time. It's uh, We are at the top in the middle, so we kind of uh, we kind of take our, our music, we take from the West, we take from the East, we take from, and we just kind of collide and put it all together, and it just kind of just, it has that sound. Minneapolis, we oh, know, yes. we're known for the funk. Yes, you know, sir. Because of Prince mm -hmm. and all of that. So, you know, and you, we incorporate that even in the gospel. We incorporate mm -hmm. that in what we do. Right. Uh, then you have Jam and Lewis, who yes. works from here. Uh, so, you know, we incorporate all of that sound, but still... It's still gospel. My thought on it is, like, take that sound, but then give you that church heavy mm -hmm. drive, mm -hmm. like vocally. Right. And that's just kind of that's the sound of what we, you know, that's our sound. Well, well, man, I I, I want to let you know that um, I truly, you know, uh, I have a save meter down here. And, uh, and it, it determines how save an artist is. Oh, Jesus. And uh, I want to let oh, you Lord. know that you from Minneapolis, and so uh, because you can go to that three and four and seven below weather and still love the Lord and go to church, you 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 got a 10 out of 10 on the save meter right. because you really got to love the Lord to go to church in Minneapolis in yes, the wintertime. Yes, 
Well, you do, you do. You know, we we we've been uh, when you're when you're from here, like me, mm-hmm. you learn to you get accustomed to it, and you know how the weather, the, you know, you know how the weather, the storm, or the or whatever the temperature is, you know how to to get around it. You know, we don't shut down nothing here unless it's like 30, 20, 30 below zero, wow. and then a a a, a twenty below uh, wind chill. <laughs> you know, so. Well, I, I have people that I know that live there, and see, this is one thing I never knew that when when it got that cold, you got to turn on your faucets and let them drip. Oh yeah, or your pipes will freeze over. That's Arkansas too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. from I'm from yeah. Cal- California, IA via Virginia via <laughs> Africa, and we ain't never had to turn on the pipes. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, like that. So let me ask you this question: I'm I'm coming to Minneapolis uh, to 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 your next concert. But before I get there, I need to get me some of the best food in Minneapolis. Where am I going? Because Robert's coming with me, and he's a food connoisseur. So uh, uh, where are we going, and, and, and where are you taking us? I'm going to take you to my guy. Shout out to Sammy McDowell. He has a, a place right on the north side called Sammy's uh, Avenue Eatery. And uh, this is some of the best food in Minneapolis. So we gonna take y'all there. When you come, that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go there. We're gonna eat. He got everything from sub sandwiches to some oh, like to sandwiches. some good some good food that mama that mama can make for you. I wow. mean he it's it's the best. Right on the north side. Wow. So it's the north side the safe side because you know we, we got street cred in our own city but we we, we don't want we can't carry a, a weapon tree <laughs> as we travel, unless we drive. So <laughs> is the north the safe side, or uh, <laughs> what side are we supposed to be on? Because, you know, west side, I mean, help us out. The, uh, well, you know, I'll say like this. The north side is where we reside, okay? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll say it like <laughs> that. Us peoples. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it like that. Okay, okay. We, can, 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 we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll forward you a little package. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay. <laughs> what is your connection to California? Because um, Bishop Kenneth Wells talks about you. I know you've done stuff with Michael mm. Morrell. Did you ever live on the West Coast too, or you just worked here a lot? No, I just do a lot of work out there. I also have Bishop Bishop Wells. Um, you know, he was one of the first people pers- people I met when I first came to the West Coast. Uh, I came out there. I brought my group out there for a board meeting, which was actually in San Diego. Oh, and, I was there. Uh, yep. Uh, we, we sang there, and then we went from San Diego, and we went to Los Angeles. And funny story, um, funny but not so funny, but this is how I met Bishop Wells. We sang at a, at a, a concert in L.A. They never paid us our honorarium. And uh, Bishop heard about it, and he invited us to come to his church. He's like that. Yeah. In San Bernardino. Yes, he's like that. And yes. I was like, I was like, oh, okay. And, I, you know, I, at the time, I didn't know nothing much about California and mm-hmm. drive and all that. You know, it was like an hour, and almost an hour and a half drive from L.A. from where right. we were. Right, And um, we went to the church, and I got there, and, and he, at the time, he had, a, he had a smaller church, and I was going, Man, I was like, man, okay, like, all right. You know, we just drove an hour and a half or something. I to myself, what's going to happen here? Right. Do you know we walked in the church and they raised the money yes, plus sir. Yes, sir. some on top of it? Yes, sir. What, and they, and they buy your project. And they buy your project, too. And bought, and bought project. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. So okay. I'm always, ever, forever grateful to Bishop, Bishop Well. That, and, uh, that and then Mike Morell is my music director. Yeah. Mike Morell, he's my music director. And um, you know, for for me, and mm-hmm. uh, and then I have, I also have a choir out there that yes. I work with. That's a part of my company. Yes, F and Two and Intentional. I like so that. They're out there. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So that's my connection on the on the West Coast. You know. Hold, hold on. Hold hold the door. I got a beef. You mean okay. to tell me you came to California? You came to the city of San Diego. 
And uh, you know, cause I'm I'm starting to remember this. I think I gave him a card and he threw it down when uh uh, uh as he walked out <laughs> and everything like that. But you know, oh, but, Lord. but you mean Here to tell go. me <laughs> you yeah. went to L.A. and they didn't pay you and you didn't call me up? Cause you know I'd have got your money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, 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 it, it, or, wasn't, it wasn't in the plan wait, of wait, God. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Or you would you would you would went back to uh, your hometown with a new organ. One of them. <laughs> you, you, it, 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 it wasn't God's timing, bro. It, it wasn't, because nah. you know I don't believe right. it, I don't believe in Christian stiff and Christian. Right. If you have somebody come and you yeah. promise them an honorarium, I, I, I tell the artist y'all stay safe, and and we'll handle mm-hmm. it for you. Right. You know y'all just go on and just praise <laughs> the Lord. You start bringing the instruments and stuff. Thugging for the, Jesus. To their Thugging for Jesus. Right. <laughs> All right. So brother, you you came out. So let's talk about the music industry, bro. Bro, you you've been in it for quite some time. He's a writer. Um, uh, hmm. How are you diversifying your brand to continue to grow in the current status of the music industry? Well, um, you know, I'm for me, what I'm doing is just staying true to me and what I do. And um, and then with that, uh, you know, I know it's a lot of times I'm noticing a lot of artists now are just doing singles and that's fine, you know, and it works. But um, for me, I believe in a body of work because mm-hmm. I want people to get the full experience. Mm-hmm. So I continue to do that. Um, but I'm also utilizing uh the social media and um you know to stay relevant and Mm -hmm. stay visible and Mm -hmm. present because nowadays you don't have to be necessarily in front of a person to be in front of a person correct (laughs) you know what i'm saying you're right you're right and so with so so with that uh creating um or coming up with creative ways to visually stay in front of people and give them this music Especially in this time, like where we are now, with this quarantine and staying in in in, home, in place, you know, all mm-hmm. that. Now it's just like a time. It's like you have to be very creative in how to stay relevant and mm-hmm. present to your audience, to your following. Um, and so the best way is to utilize the social media, utilize these platforms that are out there: mm-hmm. your Facebooks, your YouTube's, mm-hmm. your Instagrams, your Twitters. You know, uh, TikTok. I mean, they got TikTok oh, now. Wait, you know, wait, not, wait, wait a minute. I'm not, really, I'm not really on that. That's why really I was going to ask that, you. <laughs> I was going to ask you, are you a TikToker? <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm foreign to it. Trust me. Me too, bro. I'm foreign me too. To it, but, uh, but, you know, but there, these are all platforms that you can utilize and come up with creative ways to, to stay relevant. So those are some of the things that I'm doing, you know, um, to stay present tell us about your label and the choir you mentioned so in 2013 i started a um uh entertainment company production company and uh called d davis entertainment and i let it sit dormant for three years i started it and did nothing with it now mm-hmm. that's something i got it all registered and mm-hmm. i did i did absolutely nothing for three years mm-hmm. i had gotten a prophecy from a bishop here who told me that i was going to i was going to uh start working with an artist on the west coast and that on the west coast that it would it would shoot and boost my career my uh, my um company right but it's gonna start with it's gonna start with an artist on the West Coast. That was that was also like 2003, 2014, and I didn't think nothing about it. I was like, ah, whatever, you know. You know, I was like, here he goes, cats mm-hmm. talking, you know. That's mm-hmm. how yeah, I was of thinking. course. <laughs> uh, and then a few years later, I got a phone call from a friend on the West Coast who told me the Lord said, "You're behind three years. You're behind schedule three years." And I was listening to him like, huh? Wow. And then right after that, I got a phone call from FM2. Saying that this was he, this was a vision he had, and he wanted to work with me, and he wanted to do this and, and talk. And I was like, okay, God, I hear you. Right. And wow. I started working with him in like 2016, and by 2018, we had put out their first record. See, I think it's important that those that are listening and that those that are viewing artists, you heard him say that an artist reached out to him. That this artist didn't think that. He was too good. He didn't think that, oh, he's not going to listen to me. That 
artist took the leap of faith and contacted you. Let's talk about that. Well, well, before you do that, I tried to contact him. I gave him my card, and he dropped it on the way out. <laughs> you, you, but but, you, you're, not, but you're, not, you're not an artist. Oh, you still you still won't accept my artistry. No, you, that's, that's not your that's not your ministry. That's not my ministry. No, still? sir. So so you still won't let me be an that artist? No, sir. That's not your ministry. Oh, okay. So okay, go on and tell your story because he, you know, I, I've been trying my best to become an artist, and he keeps on putting me back in the place. Said, Kenny Rogers said you got to know when to fold him. He know said, when to hold him. He know said, when to walk away. Know when to run. He, he said you just keep on preaching and praying and everything like that. Right. But he said that I'm a blender. <laughs> He you said, I'm blender. a blender and yeah, not a lead soloist. Right. So I'm a, go, go and talk about it because I'm offended that he won't let me go, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> That's funny. You know, so, so, some people are gifted in different areas. Yes. We all listen. The fingers don't, fingers don't do what the toes do. Yeah. And the toes don't do what the Right. I'm part of the body. Eh? Right. Amen. Oh, well, did, did he make me feel better? He like said, "You a toe. Be no, happy to be a toe." It, no, it's, 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 your, it's your interpretation. Praise the Lord. Okay. We're gonna pray that God will touch your interpretation. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. <laughs> well, but, but go but, ahead and talk uh, to about your, it. To, mm -hmm. Yeah, but to to you know artists reaching out to other artists, you know, um, in in this thing, you know, in this industry, you know, relationship relationships are key. Yes, and and part of re being and part of relationship is showing yourself friendly. You know, uh, I've met many artists who, in my time, and I'm sure you all, especially being in radio, you've met and dealt with artists who are some of the most nasty, arrogant, yes, um, untouchable people that you can um, think of. But yes. um, but I I've learned over time that um, somebody told me this here is a there's a, a family here called the Steele family and they're very well known. Like they've done, they're like, they, they were the ones doing the backgrounds for Prince. They were the, some of them were in movies and all this wow. stuff. And, and uh, one of them was my minister of music from my, my home church. I was at, mm -hmm. and we were talking and they were sharing. And they said, one of the things that you, that you have to do is whenever you come into a room or you meet somebody, if you walk into a room, you have to make everybody in that room feel comfortable with you being in there. And I, yes. and, and I was thinking to myself, well, why I got, why I got to make them feel comfortable? You know, that's how I was thinking at the time we were having a conversation. Why I got to make everybody feel comfortable? With, and then I stopped and thought, and thought about it. It's like you're walking into a room full of people, and they may know you, or they may not know you, or they right. may know of you. And, you, you know, the whole thing is, how do I make myself comfortable? I show myself friendly to them. I let them know that I'm touchable. I let them know that yes. I'm reachable, that job, you can reach me. You know yes. what I'm saying? And I think that's key. That's I important. I think that's very key as an artist. Yeah, it's very important. It's very key as an artist to make sure that you are in a place to where people can reach. You. And when that happens, then people will feel free to call. Now, I don't give my number out to everybody. I don't do right. that. But, right. right. But at the same time, you know, those people who have my number and that – and they know that they can call me and we can talk. And, right, because I have. And we can talk about anything. Because I have. Exactly. We don't. We don't have to. We don't even. It don't even have to. It don't even have to be about music industry stuff. It could be whatever. If you just need some encouragement, call right. me. Call me. You know what right. I'm saying? And, and we we can talk. Yeah. yeah I'm I, that type of person. You know, I'm a little offended because. Um, you oh, know, I, I, I sent I sent over <laughs> to your people at Minneapolis, and and they and they kept on giving me the website, but I didn't get the number. You know, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> Earl's rubbing it in my face, talking about I, I got the number. I didn't rub it in. I just made a statement to my brother you know, because he was gracious enough when I reached out to him uh -huh. on Instagram, um, concerning you, some writing stuff. You you and, grabbed him, and he responded quickly, uh -huh. and that showed me something about him. That was one. For two, he continued to respond when I would reach out to him on other occasions. That showed me something. And so when I, God put me in this position to be on a BDS reporting radio station. Well, speak on it. I wanted to be a blessing right back to him. So I said, okay, God, he has some new music. And now I can be in a position to bless people like he blessed me by even responding to my um Message, because that's important. Young artists that are coming up, they don't need to be spooked by an artist that they love and respect. And when they meet them, they're nothing like they thought they were. Because I've Amen. been in experiences like yeah. that myself. Yeah. 
And, and you know, I, I'm an old, old G in this industry, mm-hmm. and I've seen the good mm-hmm. and the bad and the ugly. And the one thing about it uh, that I, I love this brother right here because his music and his integrity is amazing. Uh, we love to give every artist that come on uh, a, a good old time because we want everybody to know how real you are and how down to earth mm-hmm. you are. Uh, brother, uh, we appreciate you because of just just your 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 integrity of music and how you're putting together uh, the sound that you've come up with. And um, although you dropped my card and, and didn't return any phone calls, <laughs> I, I realized you that you were just trying to minister to me and keep me in my lane. I receive it right now right. that I was not that artist that you was missing in California. Right. Uh, uh, but we were, we are the radio station for you now. Right. <laughs> Now, who yeah. are you working with? Currently? And I appreciate you. Who who have you written for? Well, cur- who are you written for? And then who are you working with currently? Well, I've written for uh, Ricky Diller, New G. I've written for Shirley Caesar. Uh, I've written for uh, Sounds of Blackness, um, Ann Nesby. Wow. Um, those are all my, you know, this that's my home, my home family. Right. James Greer and company. I don't know if you guys. Yeah, know I know James, James Greer. Greer. My friend Roosevelt. Yeah, that's my, that's my friend Roosevelt sings with him. Yeah. Yes, Roosevelt. That's my friend. You know, I, I, I'm going to tell this. I, I call him Boosty. That's my, that's my nickname. I call Roosevelt. I call him Boosty. And so, but, uh, um, uh, James Greer and company. And then I've done a lot of. Film. I did like TV stuff, so I've written stuff for like So You Think You Can Dance, Young and the Restless. I've even wow. uh, done some some stuff for uh, Greenleaf. I've done some stuff for right. um, uh, just different, just different, yes. just different like film things. And then yeah. um, and so, but currently, what I'm working on right now, currently, is Remnant is getting ready to uh, put out a new project. So the last project I dropped was a solo thing. I decided to kind of do like a solo thing and mm-hmm. try some different stuff. Right. But now the group is getting ready to, we're getting ready to come out with a new, um, a new project. And uh, I've been, I dropped a video of us, of one of the songs called Healing that's mm-hmm. on online. Mm-hmm. It's on Facebook. I've been and on YouTube and um, social media. So we just did kind of a quarantine type thing from our own home and homes. And we just kind of put a video together of that song. And uh, so that is kind of what, what I'm working on now. That's what I'm working on now. And then I also done some choir stuff like Patrick Riddick and oh my Divine God, Worship, Kevin Lemons and Higher Calling. Wow. You know, I've, I've written for, for them as well. Uh, David Walker and High Praise out of Atlanta as well. So, you know, I've, I'm, I'm a, at, at the end of the day, I'm a choir head. So, you okay, know, so, I, okay, okay. I might, okay. I'm listening because my album is, is going to be choir based. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm going on YouTube right now to see what he's we talking about. a message for you. Uh huh. He got a message for us. And there's healing for your heartbreak. There's healing, There's healing for your pain. Uh. pain. And we declare this that by your stripes, we are healed. Okay, I'm cutting it off right there. Man. Boy, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so you you you, you got to get this to our no, station. No, I'm, this one is dope. Out. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I can grab it from here, but you know, I noticed Robert. I'm looking at the video, and he got two empty spots, uh, <laughs> two empty spots on this video. And you saying what to say what? I think that if you take one and I take one, it'll complete. It'll complete. I can take one because I can sing. You can you can do what you do already. But but look, I could blend. I could blend, and he could turn my mic down and put a little auto tune. Well, on no, it. people don't want to do all that. If uh, you can sing, you can sing. If you can't, this just may not be your calling. So I can't be in the video? No, sir. Can I do praise dancing? <laughs> no, but I think you maybe could say, hey, coming to the stage, uh, okay. Darnell Davis <laughs> and Remnant. Uh, you know, you know like I'm, I'm good at that. I'm a specialist. Okay, now we found something for you. Man, this is dope. I, I, I love this. Are you dropping this, or how, how do we get this to add this to rotation? Yeah, it's gonna drop. It's gonna be dropping here within the next uh, few weeks. I'm gonna. So you're gonna send it to me. So I'm, I'm definitely, yeah, definitely gonna send it to you guys yes. so you can get it. It it was a song. It was a song that 
simply like, you know, I'm like, uh, you know, I thought about healing, thinking about uh, different people. There are different people who have different sicknesses, mm-hmm. different things. And just, you know, the word of God tells us that by his stripes we're healed. Man, and uh, when I just sat at, the, sat at the keyboard one day and that's just what kind of came. And, and uh, I told the group, talked to the group and they went up in rehearsal. And I mean, we had a good old time. And so um you know um, so that's just one of the things you know we got going shout out to mike mike is is killing on this the organ and i was gonna early on there. i was I mean, gonna ask amazing. you who that was because mike is on my single um holy ghost as well um i grew up with him his uncle matthew burrell uh-huh. was my um cousin pastor reverend roger de cures um organist for years so i'm i'm like oh, family no. to the burrells sean burrell and all of them TC, oh. those are my family, so you 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 among some wonderful, wonderful people. Well, oh, you know, yeah, man, Mike is incredible. I just want to ask this last question from from my camp because sure. you know I'm still offended that nobody will let me be on their project. Yes. Uh, but anyway, God <laughs> God knows it. God he God, heals. God He's blocked he, the it all. The man you just heard the song. It, yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> um, my question to you is, uh, you know, Robert Earl Dean and I, we just n- none other than Kojic boys. Yes. Uh, what 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 denomination did you grow up in? Because we this this is another save me to count challenge. What denomination did you? <laughs> well, grow- let, let me let, let me tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. Not only not only I, let me tell you. I'll say it like this. I wasn't. I didn't join in. I was born in. Well, well, well. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna tell you like this. Right. I grew up at. I grew up at Emmanuel Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, uh, where shabba. Bishop Stanley in Prater was my bishop and pastor. Right. For almost thirty something, thirty thirty something years. Okay. Wow. My, I was born in this thing. All yes. right. Uh, not only that. Not only that, ordained in this here. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. Hit him so. too. The <laughs> LT LT is talking to you too. He he's ordained, and he is the cousins of the Blakes, who are from oh. Bishop Blake is originally oh. from San Diego. Okay, I didn't know that. All yes. right. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. there's a, there's a strong strong um, bond there. You know, we 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 trying to you know really just show everybody that all the good music, all the uh, all, 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 all the big, oh, big we, time we, artists, we, we ain't being discriminatory. <laughs> we being discriminatory. <laughs> had to one point or another oh, come no. to the Church of God in Christ. <laughs> Darnell, know we telling the truth. Darnell, know we can go down the list of of some I of the greats. I have, I go, I go, I have this argument or discussions or back and forth with a lot of different people. And trust me, Can't I love us. everybody. First of I all, too. first of all, if you pre- if you preach in Jesus Christ, yes. Amen. Yes. That I, that's that's all that matters. Right. I, I don't care what denomination you are. Right. But I often say that I think the Church of God in Christ was gifted yes. with some of the best singers and musicians, musicians the in world history. has ever in history. Yeah, the world has seen. Yeah. I mean I I, I can't, and I'm not taking, and, I, and when I say that, please, whoever's listening, I'm not taking from any other denomination. I'm just speaking about facts. where I am. You talking facts. What, you know, you what talking I'm facts. a part of. You talking facts. And um, I just, yeah, I just feel that we have some of the best, you know, musically, like musically, it doesn't get any better. And a lot of other denominations, they, they want the sound. Yes, sir. They, mm-hmm. they, can, they can say what they want, but they want the sound, but. That's a whole other discussion right there. <laughs> well, one of the things about it, we, we love, you know, we always tell fun. people in the church, we, uh, we, we got our own sets up in the church and right. we be banging against each other. But <laughs> one of the things about it is you yeah, said a mouthful when you said as long as they're preaching the word of God, right. we rocking with you. And that's the one biggest thing that uh, we as kingdom citizens definitely know, that we want to be connected with people that really are living this thing out loud. And you're just one of those brothers that we, 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 this, uh, uh, this give accolades to because right. brother you are doing it on a very very big scale uh and we got much love for you robert yeah hey if you could play with any musician or or have any singer in your group that's dead or alive give me your all-star list oh gosh just think about it you ain't got to rush oh man Dr. LT. All star oh, list. Dr. LT on trumpet. <laughs> oh, no. um, Musicians, like all star musicians. Yes. Uh, and singers. Oh man, that's hard because I just there's so many. So like the Nope, you gotta uh, put the band together and on. the singers. Put, put them together. The, the pressure is on, Darnell. The pressure is on. 
Dead or Alive. Yes. Okay. Who's on drums? Let's see. On drums, my all-time favorite drummer is is Chris Dave. Okay. okay. Los Angeles. I don't know if you guys know Chris Dave. Los yep. Angeles. Chris Chris Dave is Chris Dave is from Texas. Oh, okay. okay. He, he's from he's from Texas. Chris Dave actually uh, he was playing for Mint Condition. Oh. Uh, and uh, he also. He now has his own thing called Chris Dave and the Drumhead. Okay. Uh, Chris Dave would be my one of my all my favorite would be drums mm-hmm. on bass for me on bass. Bass. Oh Jesus! Bass, bass, bass. Uh, Daryl Freeman. Okay, on guitar. This is I'm just thinking of. Oh, Daryl Freeman from guitar. now. Where is he from? Where's Daryl Freeman from? At, uh, Atlanta. Yes. Okay, on guitar. Yeah. Guitar. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Uh, I would say Jubu. Ooh, Jubu! Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Jubu's a California but, dude. But, but then he got okay. Go to keys yeah. now on keys. Oh. You, and you got main Ooh. keys and you got auxiliary keys. So you got two positions there. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with Mike. I'm gonna stick with Mike on keys. That's okay. about it. I'm gonna stick with. Can't Mike go on wrong. Keys. Okay, on your auxiliary board. Yeah, I was. Auxiliary keys. Oh. Oh man. We're making you I work, would do bro. well. I, yeah, y'all are making me work. I would do this now. Here's a, here's a guy that I'm really that I I really like. Younger guy that he's pretty. He's really dope, and that's Glenn Gibson. Glenn Gibson is a monster. He, he's uh, I mean, a lot of cats. Like he's really kind of coming into his own. Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. dude is amazing. Mm-hmm. So I would probably have him and Mike mm-hmm. on organ. Darryl. You got to give me organ. Well, I would have. Well, I would have Glenn on organ. Okay. I have Glenn on organ. Okay. I have Mike on keys, and then on auxiliary keys. Oh man, I don't know who I would have on auxiliary keys. Okay, now you got to put your singers uh, together. Oh jeez, man, y'all making this hard. <laughs> yes, sir. So um, he should sort of first start off by saying my group. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. There's there's no doubt in that that in my group, you know, it would be my group of singers. Uh, What's Ann Nasby's yeah, daughter I, name? I mean, is that Jamisha? Oh, Jamisha, Jamisha. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jamie feels amazing. Yes, and I'm working on her project. She's getting ready to do. She's got a project coming out that I'm getting ready. I'm working on with her. Well, send it to me that. too. Send it to uh, me too. Yeah, um, singers. I don't know. Like it's just so many. It's, it's so I mean, many. We we, yeah. we 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 gonna we gonna let you slide on that because yeah. that it's 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 just. I'm gonna just say my it. group. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm stay with my group. I'm gonna stay with my people. That's cool. that's that's what I'm talking about. Loyalty. See 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 that's what that's what I want to say. He 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 dodged the bullet on that one because his. Could you imagine rehearsal next week? <laughs> uh, <laughs> pra- 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 praise praise the Lord, brother Davis. With an attitude, right? <laughs> with an attitude. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, listen, no, my group has told me. I, I joke with them sometimes. I say, I say, what if y'all came to an engagement and y'all walked in, but I was already up and I had like a whole bunch of uh, other singers and they were calling the remnant. They was like, we would straight walk to the stage and be like, yo, what's up? No, nah, they, they good, yo. They, no, good. I, they were not. It's, it, they not Minneapolis, they, they hustlers in Minneapolis. Girl, if you don't get out my spot, I will snatch that two dollar mm. wig off your head. Move. Well, <laughs> I I love my people. They are sweet. They are some. They are sweet people, but they are extremely territorial when it comes to this ministry. They are look. They like when new people come. They want to know: Are you really here for yes. for real, or right. what's what? Like, hold know, on, let us let us pull out our save hood meter out to make sure that you are gonna fit what we got here. Right, <laughs> <laughs> man, that that's all right. Well, you got this new track that you just sent us, Earl Dean right. Pitchett. This is a new single. Um, introduce it to the audience and um, don't hang up. Okay. Oh, uh, which which single? Oh, the which one? The the uh. You did didn't give up talking? on me. No, no, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm no, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Live again. Live again. Live again. Oh, live again. Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is live again off of uh, this is live again off the latest project. Yeah. My my latest project, another part of me. 
Check this out. Y'all enjoy. Danielle Davis.